Honorable, we shouldn't even discuss that policy at the moment. Because the citizens of this country are like patients in coma and surviving on ventilators. Initiating this policy at this moment is like unplugging their ventilators. Um, Honorable, uh, can we continue this discussion later, please? As we speak, the Honorable Minister for Aviation just stepped into my office. Yes, we have an emergency meeting. Oh, sure, I will call you. All right. Daddy, so I'm the aviation minister. Of course, you are here to fly me away. <laughs> Come on, you are here to fly. Um, sir, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know you started, sir. Started what? Huh? Started what exactly? Since when did you start entering my office without knocking, Vejiro? I'm sorry, sir, but another girl is here to see you. Another girl? Or a constituent from my constituency? No, sir, this is not a new girl. It's that girl that has big forehead that looks like wrongly molded semen, sir. Vejiro, will you not fly out of my office and tell her I am not around? Okay, sir, let me... Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I'm sorry, my darling. How are you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What did he say? He said I should tell you that he's not around. And you're telling me that for real? I don't understand. She likes to be my organ and lose my job. Is it there with someone? Before Uncle? Um, a guy or a girl? No, he's there with an animal. I think you don't know he's there with one of your colleagues. And what's the meaning of that? Please tell him I'm not in a hurry. I will wait. Hmm. Or, or. Welcome, Emoji. What should I offer you? No, 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 no. You don't have to offer me. Uh, your call was urgent. And you sounded very anxious on the phone. That is why I have to. Because initially, I was conducting a demonic deliverance before your call came in. I have to abandon those demons now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know, your husband, a very important client in the ministry. Oh, sorry. Uh, important members. Even though you both don't come to church. Speaking of which, you remember the contract I told you that my husband was seeking with his proxy company? How can I forget that? You said the contract was 250 million dollar contract. I've been fasting and praying, bombarding the kingdom of darkness, right and left, and shooting himself and dynamite. <laughs> it has worked. No! No! Jesus. <laughs> I knew it. As I was coming on my way, I was ready. Oh yeah, contract. Oh yeah, contract. Happy. Oh yeah, contract. Glory. Glory. MOG. It's actually a rude contract, MOG. Uh, but I'm glad you had us, you've had us in mind. Please. Let my husband not know about this. I'm just confiding in you. You know, I told you before and I'm just reconfirming, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not that for now. I'm focused in the ministry. Uh, so, how will I get my tie? Is it from you or to your husband? Uh, you know, my husband is not into Titan and all that stuff, but don't worry, I have packaged something for you a little token of 100,000. <laughs> 100k? But you, you, you told me it's 250 million dollar contract. Mm -hmm. And 10% of that is 25 million naira. I don't think the angel will accept this one. Oh. Eh? It's, too, it's, it's too lean. It's very fragile. MOG, this one is not from my husband. I already told you my husband doesn't do this tight thing, but don't worry. I will make sure he makes donations, okay? Are you sure? Yes. Uh, anyway, you have to convince him. Because I know the angels in heaven will not accept this. But I will manage it. Uh, just try your best. I know. Try your best. Yeah. I know. <laughs> anyway, you have to convince him. Because uh, I know the angels will not accept this money. They have rejected it. I don't hear the Lord. I said, give me the money back. But it's a whole is more. So you have to look for a way to convince your husband because, uh, you know, actually, let me see, keep it. 
Just find me transport. I let the travel the tick, please. Uh -uh. If I have cold water, give me cold water or cook. Give me transport, give me transport. I can't talk this morning. You know, they have registered it in heaven. Hello, sir. Sergio, what is it? What part of do not disturb you don't understand? Sir, is the girl low? She is still here. She said she has nowhere to go. I'm suspecting she has rent and landlord issues. Now, tell that young lady that I'm seriously busy working on the preambles of the next bill I want to sponsor on the floor of parliament regarding job creation for jobless people and youth in general. Okay, sir. But, sir, I think she does not have transport fare. You will give her the sum of 20,000 naira from your office impressed and make sure she's gone. See her out. And why are you telling him all that? I was only trying to help you now. See said I should give you 10k for your tea fare that he will call you later tonight too. I wanted to see him. I do not need tea fare. <sighs> Anyways, no problem. Tell him bye bye. Oh. <sighs> Rubbish. Joe, are you leaving without collecting your tea fare? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I was telling you collected the money. Oh. You feel like say you carry vest, money follow body. Mm -hmm. Ah, Fejiro. As you can see, I'm about leaving. Okay, sir. Tell anyone that calls or visit. Tell them I am not on seat. Is okay, that clear? Sir. Okay, sir. Very good. Okay. Even if it's your wife. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I'm only trying to be prepared with the right arsenal of lies. You know, madame do call me without calling. And if he calls you, you don't pick. She will end up calling me, sir. Fejiro. Sir? You know, sometimes I wonder why I am here to DM you your sack letter. I said anyone that calls or visit, tell them I've got to a parliament sitting. Okay, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. Is it a closed door sitting or open door sitting, sir? I'm sorry, sir. You know, Madame knows her way to the Parliament floor. And if I tell her you are there sitting, she might come look for you. But if I tell her you are in the closed door, she might just go back home, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Fejiro, yes, tell anyone that comes visiting or calls that I'm in a closed door sitting. Okay, sir. Now I need to leave. Okay, sir. Please be unto this official edifice. I've been waiting at the reception. It's pretty directed me to come in here. Ah, uh, Emoji. Actually, I was on my way to a parliament sitting. Can we... No, we cannot. This is a divine visit. Yes, he sent me here. Tell them to excuse us. Uh, the spirit directed me to you. Is there anything you have been planning to give to the Lord? My big form of seed, tithe, and offering. Amoji, why don't you leave that between me and the Lord? The Lord sent me here. If, no, if there's anything you are planning, or you have a plan of giving up something to the Lord, hmm. and you are withholding it back, you are robbing the Lord. And if you rob God, God will rob you mercilessly. It's okay, Amoji, I actually have uh, a parliament meeting, All right. a very urgent All one. Right. Um, let me see the glory. glory. This is 10,000 for you. Hmm? 10,000? Yes. 10,000. How are you robbing the Lord? I'm not robbing the Lord, Emoji. How can you give God as big as God 10,000? Uh, emoji, know? like I said, I have a, an important meeting. Please, let's go. We'll talk about this some other time, okay? Emoji, we have to go, please. Thank you very much. No, no, sir, you see that. I want to talk to you. I, I, don't, I have, have a meeting. Emoji, let's go, let's go, let's go. Emoji. Ah. Emoji, let's go, please. Thank you, thank you, Emoji, for coming out. Mm -hmm. Zadi, can I take this call, please? No, you cannot. See, we are here to cast our votes. 
and I do not want anything that will interrupt the electoral process. I want the ballot box in my full view. No foes are allowed in the polling unit. It's okay, Zadi. Good. Now come and give me a electoral massage. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, who is this? Madam, your husband just took a get to a hotel. I know the hotel and the exact room number. If you want to catch them, come to the address I'll be testing you. And do not come with your car. Come with a public transport and disguise. Bye. Hello? Hey! <laughs> Many days for the thief. One day for the owner of the house. Soko, you are finished. Let me go. Hello, are you the one I've been talking to? Yes, I'm the one. Please enter the car first in your seatbelt. Oh, okay. Hey, thank God. I, I've been looking to do this. <laughs> God, don't catch up. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Senator Newman, can we continue this discussion later, please? I have constituency issue on ground to attend to. Okay, yes, bye. Oh, I'm sorry, my darling. So close to an hour, why I've been on different calls. Like, that's what we came here to do. Listen, those calls pay your bills, so behave yourself. Like I said, this is the last one, okay? <laughs> This is my wife. I need to take this. Hello, my darling wife. How are you? This is not your wife. Who is this and how did you get my wife's phone? Your wife is with us. She has been kidnapped. If you want to see your wife alive, follow my instructions and do not make the mistake of calling the police. We are turning off your wife's cell phone now. Wait for our call. I repeat, do not make the mistake of calling the police. We are watching you. If you make the mistake of calling the police, just go and marry another wife because we'll delete this one straight up if you mess up. Okay, uh, hello? Daddy, what's going on? My wife has just been kidnapped. Oh my god, I'm sorry about that. But are you going to leave me here? No, I will not. Did you not hear when I said my wife has been kidnapped? What is wrong with you? We were supposed to hold the elections, Daddy. What will not happen to the voting? You have my permission to rig the elections. <laughs> Yes, uh, my, hello. <clears throat> hello, baby, baby, it's me. Oh, oh baby, is, is that you? Are you fine? Are you okay? Good, good. Ah. Oh. Oh, thank God. Well, uh, I requested for proof of life to know whether you are safe because I've resumed the negotiation with them. Can you imagine they are requesting, they are demanding 50 million naira in ransom? Baby, I'm sorry. I'm, me, I'm begging them as well. I'm sorry for putting you through all this stress. Wait, 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 wait. If I may ask, how did they even kidnap you? I left you at home and you never told me you were going out. Someone called me that you were in a hotel with a girl that I should come and catch you. And I went there. I hope you have caught me red-handed now. You have caught me now, right? Baby, please, let's not do this. Let's not... Oga, okay, don't waste our time. When are you making the payments? Uh, gentlemen. You see, money is tight at the moment. Please, I, I, raising 50 million is not that easy. Can you give me some discount? Do you think we are doing Black Friday sales here? You have some power to make the money available in cash. Else, you won't hear from us again. And you can guess what will happen to your wife. Please, hello? I have arranged the money. How do I deliver it to you? We don't trust you politicians. You people are criminals. You have to hand the money over to a trusted, reputable person to bring it to us. Like who? A non-pastor. Uh, the only non-pastor I know is my 
Pastor, can I, we call him MOG, can I give it to him? Hand the money over to the MOG, we'll get his phone number from your wife. And we'll call him with delivery instructions. If you see any sign of foul play, like you even greeting the policeman, your wife is gone. It's okay. I will do as instructed. <laughs> Emoji, so get it to my wife. Relax, as soon as I handed over the money to them, they said I should go. They will release her and she will come on herself. Oh God, Emoji, why would you agree to such an arrangement after paying kidnapper? Oh, you know that, sir. I almost don't want to agree to it, but when I saw the gun you put on my head, there was bullet on it. Oh. And you know the Bible says wisdom is profitable to direct. So I apply wisdom of the law. Tell me, tell me, where exactly did you drop off the money for this? I was blindfolded and driven to the forest. I believe they are counting the money to see if the money is complete. Ah, oh God, emoji. So what are we going to do now? Mr. Kambi, this is not a time for prayer. This is a time for action. Don't tell me to pray. We cannot be praying over this. We cannot pray with this decision. Tell me what more today are telling me. Oh, Emoji, I wasted my time. Eh? Don't, don't command me. Don't command me in this situation. I'm angry. Father, what should we do? Father is coming again. Oh, oh, oh. oh all right. Greet your father for me. Be, be, be in chat on one as though. Can you put a slide, you know? Hey, 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 How are you, my son? Children of Zion. Hey, we are not children of Zion. We are from the first criminal investigation department. Glory! FCID. We were coming to your church to invite you to our station. I hope there is no problem. You have some questions to answer in our office. Are you writing while I can examine your, your office? You will find out when you get there. And you have the right to remain silent as whatever you say or do shall be used against you in the law court. Move it! God should, move remain, it. God should remain silent. I said move! Hey, Mr. Man, don't respect yourself. I'm called by God. Don't talk. My friend, move it! Move it! Follow him. Officer, they pushing me. Emoji. Tell us your involvement in acting as a middleman in regards to the kidnap of Honorable Soko's wife. Glory. You know what the Bible says? Wrong accusation is... I want you stop it! We are not here to listen to your sermon. Give us your statement. You see... I was on my own when Honorable Zadi called me to go and help rescue his wife from the lion's den. The, uh, the mission was so complicated and very risky. But the Lord was with me. And the angel stood by me. Information reaching us from our inside source clearly states that you were the one who organized the kidnapping. Ah! Wow. Me! See, let me not waste your time. One of the kidnapper is an undercover agent who we have been using to infiltrate and bust kidnapping activities around the state. As we speak, the boys and the kidnappers you use in carrying out this crime are in our headquarters cell as we speak right now. Are you serious? Yes. He told us that Honorable Zadi won a contract of 200 million and he refused to pay his tithe. That is why you went to organize that kidnapping. You either confess or we make you confess right now. Glory, glory, glory. You see, now like this now, I don't have the cash to finish. Everything don't go like this now. So what do you want me to do, sir? Should I pray for you? Like this. Now nah, kiri kiri, you go like this. Are you are Jesus Christ. You and Jesus that will stay one set. Amoji, everything the police told you was a lie. How? 
they did not have an undercover police officer working with the kidnappers. And they continue to know about the 250 million dollar contract and the tight aspect. Mm -hmm. They asked me to write my statement. And I realized you were the only person I told about that 250 million naira contract. Mm -hmm. I saw your countenance when I gave you that 100k, but I did not know you would go to this extent. MOG. And mind you, the kidnappers, none of them has been arrested. They only treat you to extract the truth from you. And you will help them find the kidnappers. I don't, I don't, I don't mess up. See, you know the Bible says, to err is human. To forgive is divine. See, people should forgive me. <laughs> oh yes, forgiveness is sure. We are forgiving you. Oh. But you see, forgiveness does not delete penance. You must pay for your crime for there to be true forgiveness. You will go in. Sadi, Sadi, the Lord said I should ask you, do you want emoji to go to prison? Is the Lord inside the cell with you? Mm. Emoji, mm. yes, you will go to prison and start a new prison ministry. Power to the, to people. the people. To the people. Yes. You will twat right at that cell. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>